it is quite unfair to not be able to complete the project that I was working on. This would have done a lot to fix some of the past misconceptions that people had about me and smooth things over, which is really what I wanted to do. I wanted people to all be happy. I wanted them to be happy with me and to know my work more than the bad things that people had said about me in the past. And they were not true. I just want to say this again. They were not true. They were unfair. And I don't know what to do now. I can't say anything other than for the blessing of this person that will give me the opportunity to speak. I can't say that this is not true and that is not true and everyone is speaking about me and they don't know. They don't know. And I wish that they would please be quiet and give me time to figure out what I need to do here. I just, I, I need someone to help me here. And I don't know who to ask for assistance. Everyone backs away when they hear my name for positive reason and steps forward for a negative connotation to be in the limelight themselves without any real thought about me and my feelings. Many people have come forward and said many bad things about me and these were people that I trusted and I feel very betrayed and I want them to know that. Look at yourselves. Look at what you're doing. And it's so unpleasant and so not nice to be doing this. And please, just stop. Just stop. I have children to be concerned with. And I want them to be proud of who their father was. I don't want them to hear these things. And they will play over and over and over throughout the years the things that you say and do today. Please, let me just say, please again, please just stop. And let me have this moment to collect myself and what I need to do so that I can do the best for my family and myself. And I hope that everyone understands. I know everyone feels like they knew me. And the fact is, very few people knew me for who I really was. It was always the show that had to be put on. And the constant glare from lights on me and on my children never having time just for myself to just be and just be a regular normal person. Even now that is the case and it is so sad. It is so sad. I just don't know what else to say. I will, however, participate in any research that might be helpful to those that want to know more about this process, but I must warn you that I know very little myself. But if you want to know if Michael Jackson continues on, I can tell you that he does, and I am here and I am not going anywhere anytime soon. So to my family, please know I am here. I am okay. Please tell this to my children. 
so that they will know not to be worried about their dad, that he is fine and he is checking in on them. I want that very clearly sent out as a message. I don't have anything specific that I would want to share at this particular point in time because I am very much aware that whatever I say here can and will be made public and I would hope that I have not said anything that will come back to, excuse me, haunt me later on. And so I am speaking in a very guarded way and those that know me will know that this is my way in dealing in public matters. So I hope that if there is any question as to my identity that I have given you enough information so that you will be able to know who you are talking to and be very confident in that fact. I will be staying in touch with this person who has agreed to help me and I am very grateful that she can hear me and she is willing to work with me. It has not been easy for her and I hope that she will be treated with respect and that she will actually receive more respect than I ever did and please, please stop trying to grab your little piece of Michael Jackson. There are no pieces left to grab. There are material possessions. They don't matter. As much as I loved them when I was alive, let me tell you, they do not matter. So if you think you've grabbed a piece of me by having a possession of mine, then please think again. It is of no value. I would like to say goodbye for now, and I will be in touch again soon. Thank you very much for the opportunity.